Well, I began pastoring in 2005, and God had given us a vision to grow this church. And uh, across the street, we, we were in a smaller building, capacity about 80 people. And probably three or four years prior to building our new building, uh, we were running uh, over 100, and we knew we had to do something fast. So we bought uh, 26 and a half acres across from the street, and uh, this is where the, the building now sits. Everybody that has come into our building, um, they can't believe how beautiful it is, first of all and then just the structure of it and how well insulated it is. It's, it's, it's sort of comical. The smaller church across the street, it, it cost us twice as much to heat and cool as it does our new one. Uh, but when, when people come in, they, they look and they see uh, a building that is just, they just can't believe it, especially in the sanctuary with the perforated metal that reduces the sound and all that stuff. So it, everyone is amazed. We wanted something that we could utilize every day of the week whether it be vacation Bible school or children's church or whatever. Uh, but as you come through the doors, um, you'll find that, that the pastor's office, that's something where I spend most of my time in. Uh, it allows me to counsel people, do my studying, and any other uh, research that I need to do. On the other side of that uh, is what we would call our Sunday school rooms. Uh, you have our teen class, and then you step down to our junior class, then our primary class, and then our nursery. Uh, all of those things was very, it was necessary for us because we had no room. We had a basement in the old church and it was just one big room. So we was trying to have Sunday school, nursery and all that stuff in the other building. So we really felt we needed to grow and bring these rooms in. And along with that, our bathrooms, uh, we had one stall per bathroom in the old church where now we have, in the ladies, there's three stalls. Uh, in the men's, there's two stalls and a urinal. And uh, there's also a shower in the men's. We wanted a shower in case we were working here. and. Um, I got called out and had to go somewhere we could utilize. We wouldn't have to go all the way home, we could use the showers. Then we have a beautiful kitchen. We, we, we like to eat around here, so uh, we wanted to put a kitchen in and um, that would help us to uh, feed our people. And The building that we use here, it's not only used as a sanctuary, but we use it as a multi-purpose facility. We tear down the chairs and we can use it for basketball for kids and volleyball. Uh, we can do dinners and all that, those things. As you can imagine in the old church, when, you, when you're only able to have 80 people, um, when people come in, there's room. Uh, in the older church, you were sitting elbow to elbow, uh, some standing. This one, there's plenty of room for people to come in. Families, if you've got a family of five, six, seven, eight, even 10, you could sit together and not have to worry about being separated or squished. And uh, of course, the air conditioning units will keep up, the heating units will keep up. So. Uh, it's just, I think it, the mentality of our people now is so much more relaxed. Morton is very thorough and, and, and their, their product is, is it's just amazing what, what, you know, everyone wants to give you the sales pitch. Uh, Morton not only gave you the sales pitch, but they backed it up with their materials, with their business. It was awesome.